Oh boy! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> the great cons are mad at us. Why are there great cons out here? <laughs> okay. There's the ringleader, Genghis Khan, with a weird iBot helmet for whatever reason. Don't know what caused these guys to appear here. No idea. Honestly, don't know. I don't know why they're. Wait, who are they? Who did they just kill? Why is there a nightkin? Like the sight of your own blood. Uh, he got disarmed. What do you do now, huh? <laughs> Oh no, I wasn't hostile, I was protecting you, no! Heart attack! <laughs> well, they did kill these NCR troopers. What a jerk. They killed a ranger! Damn! What the hell just happened in there? Vincent, what was that? He has no words. He's speechless. <laughs> I can't blame him, I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what the hell just happened. I don't know why you're always harping on me about having Geiger counters. I think they're interesting. I'm not saying they're wrong, but most people would be satisfied with one. Yeah, but I have different ones. I have one that's robust so that I can carry it with me on a daily basis and put it into... Um, Why do you need to have one on a daily basis? In case there's a nuclear, biological, or chemical attack! I guess there's I guess it would just be a nuclear attack, because it's not really going to attack biological or chemical. Why does my... Ma oh, Graves. Graves are over here. Hey... Why don't we get something to eat? No, Joshua. No, Josh, we're in the middle of doing this. It's apparently. Oh, wait, I found a note. I found a note. Rest in peace, Bobby. You were a great man. Your mac and cheese. I must kill the governor. I must kill the governor. Formula will be remembered for generations. Sleep well, my friend. I hope you don't mind, but I've taken your radio transmitter since it will serve me better since the signal is stronger on yours. Bobby S. 2240 ish. To 2281. You can tell the person who wrote that eulogy was very close to him because they didn't yes. know his birth date. Down in the underground hatch we go. Down in the underground hatch we go. Down in the underground hatch we go. Down, 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 down. Poodle, 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 poop. I was in a couple YouTube videos. I heard they did pretty well, whatever that means. <laughs> what? what are we looking for? Anything. Any clue. Anything that'll put us on the trail. What kind of music you like when you're killing folks? Rock? Country? Ain't God for radios, or else we'd have to hear him scream. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely true. Can you help us search for something, Vincent? We're looking for any clue. Sure. Could do with a beer. Alright, Vincent, did you find anything? You wanna know how I keep my gun hand steady? It's right in the name. Ah, he uses steady. Ah. Y you like chems a lot, don't you, Vincent? Some say chems used to be used like medicine. I don't know if that's true, but it does cure my boredom. That's good enough for me. Fair enough. They say that everything we build has some kind of sexual innuendo behind it. You ever seen a rocket ship? It's a man's attempt to fuck the sky. <laughs> so flying saucers really exist and shit. That means aliens got some fucked up penises. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. There's a note on this desk. Oh, good lord, I couldn't even see it! Dearest members, as I'm sure you know, it's just that time of year where we must change our radio frequency again. Please tune into 91.25 instead of the old 89.90. Do not tune into the old frequency as you will be terminated upon entry as a security protocol. And we are very interested in security protocol, which is why we leave these notes lying around for anyone to find. For anyone wondering how to change the radio numbers, the plan for the transmitter are on the back. Follow them carefully, as we cannot do anything for you getting vaporized. Regards, Mary F. Technology Research and Development. Well, teleportation. That's a new one. Sounds like some Boston shit right there. Ah, uh, Boston shit. Get it? No. Nope. Probably just jinx someone. Fallout 4. Anyway, oh. I know someone who can help. <laughs> yeah, he's an engineer. Maybe he could shed some light on this. Well, who is this guy? His name is Samuel. I've known him for a while. Just don't touch anything in his lab, and you'll get on with him just fine. Let's go. Are we coming here to Camp Charlie? No, I went to Camp Charlie because the other closest one was the Legion raiding camp, and I didn't think we wanted to fast travel directly there. The Khazar has <laughs> marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. I'm glad we picked up the conversation right here. Come on! Bloody well, ducks! It's <laughs> been a while since we've killed you guys! Picking up advanced tactics, are we? Right, you son of a bitch. Are they crazier than the shoe bills? Shoe bills aren't really crazy. 
You, how would you know? You've never seen one in person. Shut up. Just stop reminding me. Would you like to tell Vincent the story? Maybe he'll feel sympathy for you. <sighs> no. You ventured out to the Florida Zoo, right? Yeah, I went to the Florida Zoo. You specifically went there to see the shoe bill. I specifically went all the way to Florida Zoo. All the way to the Tampa Zoo in Florida to see the shoe bill and the exhibit was closed. Vincent, before you start harping on me about why didn't you check their website? They didn't have anything on their website that said that the shoe bill exhibit was closed. Nothing. Not one thing. And you tried to bribe the guards to get behind there and see the shoe bills. But I, they... tr I talked to, I think, 12 different people trying to figure out how I could see the shoe bill. And most people had no idea that they even had a shoe bill exhibit. <laughs> More, much less where the shoe bill actually was. Finally, I talked to someone. I was like, okay, look, I want to see the shoe bill. I will give you 75 bucks to let me in to see the shoe bill. And they went, well, I, I'll go check. And then eventually they came back. Hang on, there's another Legion guy. Another kill to my Eventually the person came back and they were like, yeah, so the shoe bill's in a different enclosure and it's a really big area and we basically can't get to it. Oh, <laughs> looks like there's a whole horde of them. Stupid Tampa Zoo! Not having the shoe bill for me to look at! Have you heard of a man in Boulder City called Vincent? Man, he gives me the creeps. Kind of funny though. You're gonna go back to that zoo? We're gonna try a different zoo? Uh, I'm gonna be going to the San Diego Zoo to see their shoe bill. San Diego has shoe bill exhibits, do they? Yes, they have a shoe bill in San Diego. That's not what I would go to San Diego for, but... That's what I'm going for. I could think of worse reasons. Hey, who are these guys? I think these are the people we're supposed to talk to. Hey, Dr. Moron. Make us invincible. We know you can. Ah, oh, this guy knows too much. Nothing personal. Just business. Oh, you've been accused of knowing too much. That's a first. Ha 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 ha! so dead. Why did we just kill these guys? Because they went hostile. It's their fault. Um, hello. The door was unlocked the entire time. You could have walked right in. Uh, greetings, Mr. Samuel. Hello there. Well, there are a bunch of mercs out front. They've been bothering me for a couple of days now. They didn't give you any trouble, did they? They spontaneously combusted when they looked at us. Yeah, they just burst into flames. Yeah, we could handle it. Well, I'm glad you did. They thought that I could make them invincible because I'm a scientist. So they kept pestering me and threatening to kill me. I think your glasses are upside down. <laughs> I, whatever, let's, let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Sure, what brings you here? We need you to build a teleporter. Those other guys were asking you to make them invisible. Those other guys were asking for the moon. We don't need that. Build us a teleporter! You serious? Teleporter? Immortality is one thing, but a teleporter? <laughs> yes. Teleporter. Look at these plans. This is serious. Not even drawn on a napkin this time. Whoa. This is incredible. Extremely primitive, but incredible. <laughs> Extremely primitive teleporter. <laughs> but you just also said that you couldn't build a teleporter because that was too advanced. <laughs> yes, he's too advanced to build a primitive teleporter. Maybe primitive teleporters are the only teleporters you can build. Did I ever tell you about my time machine that I built? No, you haven't. Yeah, I built a time machine when I was in Iraq. So I'm going to assume this is a metaphorical time machine. No, it was a real time machine. It was this plastic bag that I found. You put the plastic bag over your head and breathe <laughs> deeply for several minutes. And then eventually you wake up and you're in the future. Oh, it's a one-way teleporter. Yeah, you can't go backwards in time. You can only go forwards. And it goes forwards at intervals that I was never ab able to exactly pin down. Dang it, backwards is the direction we wanted to go. Well, you can only go forwards. Wait, I just remembered that I do have a time machine. We've been using it frequently. That's some heavy shit. Let's just go back in time and pretend this conversation never happened. We do have a time machine, but we don't have a teleporter. The schematics for this one require a radio. Very observant. You're right. Looks like we need a radio. Will a pit boy work? Zach's got one. It's got a Geiger counter and a metrical compass built into it. Maybe that's got a radio too. Well, it's a good size. It needs to be taken apart for the molecular components. There must be a way to rig it, but I don't want to break it. Oh, very considerate of you. A regular radio would be too big to... Hmm... I have an idea. 
in the Repcon building, the astronauts were working on pocket radios. How do you know this? Similar tech to what's in your pit boy. Gave me one of the prototypes from the R and D offices, and we should be in business. He seems pretty confident that they're there. Okay, why are your glasses on upside down? Mm. They are designer. They're the right way up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. <laughs> I haven't seen Hope in forever. Where is she? I probably in Novak. We've been very, very busy helping the NCI. We've had a lot of things going on. Hope, are you home? We've got a journey we're going on. Uh, Hope's been standing out here the entire time just waiting for us to come back. My motto is, if you ain't got something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Ugh, never mind, we're not bringing hope. Yeah, I don't know if we have any more room for you at the moment. <coughs> and bastard. That's what you were replaced with, Hope. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the only time you're going to hear me apologize, so I hope you made a recording of it. Yeah, what part of Fallout New Vegas isn't weird? Whoa! <laughs> I think it's this. <laughs> Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Sentry bot toy, eh? I can just take that with me, huh? Alright, I got a new companion. Would you rather have everything you eat have mustard on it, or have everything you eat have ketchup on it? I don't like either of those condiments, mm -hmm. so it's a pretty big toss-up for me. Would you rather have teeth for pubes, or pubes for teeth? Ugh. And we'll just do a little breaking, a tiny bit of entering. Little beanie. <laughs> yeah. We do it so much we had to come up with an abbreviation for it. Yeah, man. I've done a couple B&Es in my time. Yeah, but usually it's in abandoned buildings. Yeah, usually in this abandoned building and nobody really cares if I'm B&Eing. Unauthorized facial pattern. Please present credentials for first floor access. I've worked here for years. I just have my badge at home. Unauthorized access. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alerted. Research. Oh god, more robots! Ah! 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 No, don't cue the robot music! Don't cue the robot music! Yeah. No, I hate the robot music! Everyone does, because I play it too loud! Alright, no, we're fine. We're fine, it's all over. Okay, what are we looking for? Information around here? We're looking for a pocket rig- Oh, for God's sake, it's Sony Walkman. Ah, okay, that must be what we're looking for. Welcome back, Mike. Oh, why, thank you! How did you know I was coming? Oh, this is somebody's personal journal. Wow, that's a lot of stuff I really don't want, want to read. So, cool. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. He was really diligent with taking notes. He didn't want anybody to miss anything. November 22. There are a lot of rumors that a nuclear bombardment has hit the U.S. November 23. Well, shit. And apparently Driver Defy was using this terminal as well. Get fucked. Signed, Driver Defy. Thank you. Well, at least your golf driver's still being used. <laughs> Unauthorized facial pattern. Oh, you again. Please present credentials for first floor access. Fuck you! Found you. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, ah! no! <laughs> no, it's the MPs! Why didn't you ask for their credentials? Hey, Doc, guess what we found? Old, outdated technology. Uh, Doc? Damn it, those MPs got it before we did. We need to get Samuel back now. That's quite the assumption to make. Maybe he's just out back farming. All right, how are we going to get there? How good are you with signs and repairs? Think you can make it? I'm pretty good with those. He's asking you to make a teleporter, though. I've repaired a sink or two in my time. I'm pretty sure I can figure out how a teleporter works. Okay, give it a whirl. So we just need this pack of cigarettes, and we'll just attach this DC Journal of Internal Medicine to it, just like that. Nope, that, okay, that ceramic's just gotta stay on there. We attach the ceramic to your rear canooter valve, and then... <laughs> yeah, that's supposed to happen. That's that's it. And then we get the teleporter. See, here it is. All right. Whoa! I told you I repaired enough sinks. I'm sure I can figure out how a teleporter works. I've got you now. Uh, what ah! No. Okay. <laughs> We're very lucky we didn't teleport into somebody, or we have a fly or something. Oh, come on! How little faith do you have in me? I'm. That's something you can't predict for. And your head is hanging out of the groin area, just going, kill me. And then <laughs> Vincent's in the middle, just going, Quaid, stop the reactor. <laughs> I was more expecting Joshua to get teleported inside of an NMP. No, I'm an MP. No, I'm an MP. Hey, Boris, you home? Wake up, Boris. Wake up and smell the ashes. 
Well, well, well. Oh my god, he looks like Boris Johnson. Looks <laughs> like we've got company, boys. <laughs> I'm impressed you managed to get this far. What brings you here, might I ask? The same thing that brings us everywhere, murder. Uh, delivery of two mozzarella pizzas and a large Coke, as well as an extra large order of ass whooping. Don't worry, the Coke is diet. Look, boys, a comedian. <laughs> he tries his best. I assure you we have had plenty of them. Ass whoopings? <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't order any bottom whooping, but feel free to leave the pizzas and the Coke on the desk. Now, where's my wallet? <laughs> there it is! <laughs> yes. That'll be twenty nine fifty five. Oh, my God! Ah! <laughs> oh, like... he had a trap door. Give it to us raw, precious. <laughs> <laughs>